Hello and welcome back to you. Today we're going to be taking a look at Let's Make Moves Miami. This tournament was incredibly stacked. There was a ton of amazing runs, and it was a Panda Cup qualifier that Akula got, which is super hype. We'll get to that in a second, but let's get into the bracket first. We had Akula taking it, Onan in second, Riddles in, or sorry, Mudes in third, Riddles in fourth, Zamba, Paul Kage in fifth, Tweak and Ned in seventh. Ninth place was Jen... Jake, I want to see if I remember, Anathema, and Jackal, I think? I don't know, I'm clicking on all these. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. And then Dark Wizzy, Fatality, Grape, and Chunky Kong all got 13th. This tournament was insane. Here's some people that, like, are insane here that didn't get mentioned. Like, those little lists. So we had Cosmos here, he got 17th. We had Cola here, he got 25th. We had Wadi here, he got 49th. Uh, like, Aaron got 20 or 17th. Like, this tournament was so... Goblin, 17th. So many amazing players here. Uh, let's talk about, like, immediate... Get the upset out of the way. Cola got upset by Javi on Earth and Chunky Kong. Chunky Kong also beat Aaron as well, so double enemy voice boys. Insane run from Chunky Kong. He did follow Apollo Kage, but, uh, I don't think any of his matches were on stream. His Apollo Kage set was, but at least his Cola Aaron sets. Maybe the Aaron one was, but I know the Cola one wasn't. But still, huge ups to him. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how he does it with, with DK. He is... He's definitely the beast DK in the world. Not that there's, like, a ton of contention, but also, that's, like, one of the coolest titles to have. IMO, because that character is super funny. Uh, also, shout to Grape for having a good run. Grape has always been, like, a really good snake player, but he had a really far loser run. Beat Mugen, beat Yanni, before falling to Ned in a pretty close set. Like, Grape is, like, he's an incredible player. He has a ton of potential. The Canadian scene right now is insane. I'm, like, I don't know, that's spoiling, but video on Canada soon, because that region is going crazy. Uh, Goblin, staying consistent as well. Not insane placements, but pretty good. Dark Wizzy, another top 13 frame. I think that's four in a row. I'm not actually sure. But he stays consistent, which is always nice. Cosmos, again, I don't know where to put him. It's like, I don't know how to see. You can't see Cosmos. It's impossible. Sometimes he gets first. Sometimes he gets, like, last. This one, he just got right in the middle. So, not a terrible turn from him. He lost to, like, Jackal and Anathema, which are not bad losses at all. But he was seen a little higher. So, it is unfortunate for him. Uh, Yanni, as well. I know on Twitter he was unhappy with his placement. Uh, I think he was like, he said like he thought he plateaued because he's playing really well. But I don't believe it. I think he could do like way better. He's such an amazing player. And I think, again, that pendulum or that pendulum, however you say it, it's like it starts at the top, which is like the left. It's bad. And then it swings down. Then you're at the middle. You get like a 25th maybe. And then it slowly starts to swing up. So now he gets 17th. Next time he gets a 9th. Then boom, 5th, boom, 1st. Yanni wins the biggest major in the world. I believe he's in, he's crazy. I know he's down on his luck, but he's just an absolutely unreal player. And then before we get into other runs, I predicted that he, or Supergirl Kells and Sean will perform their seeds, and Supergirl Kells performed her seed like exactly, and then Sean outperformed by one. So overall synopsis, I did bad. And then usually I do like a prediction for like the top eight bracket. I literally just got every single spot wrong except. No, I think I got every single one of them wrong, so I'm just not I'm just not gonna show you. I'm just a little embarrassed to be honest. So <laughs> just just don't even worry about that part of the video we usually do. Uh let's look at oh wait, actually, there was one more run I want to look at. Let me see if I can find it. It was Jen. Jen had a crazy run. He beat Peanut, Javi on Earth, Fatality before losing to Akula. And then in winners, I think he was seated fairly low, so he lost to someone crazy. Yeah, he lost to Riddles. He lost to Riddles to Akula for ninth, and Tweak lost to Riddles Akula for ninth or seventh, which is like so dumb. I, I'm so mad if I'm Tweak and Jen, honestly. It's like, come on. But also, like, the alternative was, like, Mudace, which is, like, the way he was fighting this tournament, it, was, it wasn't that much better. We'll get to Mudace's run. That's, like, a whole segment, because God, what a run. Also, just the Black Twins 13. He did well. Always love him Black Twins as well. And Giddy as well. Giddy had a pretty good run. I think, I didn't get to watch as much of his sets. I think he's Krom, but uh, he got a pretty good placement here at 25th. Like, not a I'd say it's a break tournament for him. I wasn't super familiar with him before, but this is overall a really good run, so he should definitely be happy with that. Uh, Peepnut staying pretty well as well, 25th. Like, there's so many players at this tournament that all did, like, pretty well because, like, you know, it's a major. Not everyone could do super well, but there's some people that did. Also, there's eight Steves in top 64, but also we had Jake here, Yanni here, D-Dog here, uh, Akala Onan, obviously, Apple, and one more. Uh, wait, no, two more. We had Soar, and then one more. <laughs> and I don't know who the other one... Is it Ducky? I don't think so. I If you know who the other Steve is, please tell me. Because I, I don't. I genuinely have no idea. I'm probably just, like, looking right over them and just missing. Hold on, let me check that Quandale was actually here. I'm pretty sure he was. Did I say that wrong? Uh, okay, maybe, okay... 
I guess Quandale was near either, or I'm just missing him. But there's two Steves I'm missing. So again, tell me, see, main point is, it doesn't really matter which ones it is. That's a lot of Steves in top eight, and also two Steves in grand finals. Do I think we should ban the character? No, we had like all the best Steves here. It makes sense. If we had all the best Robs, they'd also probably all get top 64. Like it makes sense that they're doing well. Of course they are. But uh, it still shows a lot for this character. But I also think that the counterplay against this character is getting really good. Specifically with Mutase and Zamba. They seem, even though they end week, even though they all lost, they all seemed incredibly competent in the matchup. And it could have gone either way. Just some tragedies happened in like almost every single set. Especially the Mutase ones. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But let's look at winner's bracket a little more first. Uh, Zamba staying really consistent. He was really good against Jake and Onan. Zamba had to fight three Steves. He had to fight Jake and Onan. And what's his name? Akula. How could I forget? That's like the most iconic one. Uh, which is like tough, honestly. But also, so did Mutes. He had to fight Yanni into Akula, who he beat. Mutes is the only one this tournament to beat Akula, and he beat him 3 0, and he almost beat him. I'm just going to talk about it now. Mutes is says that he lost. I'm so sad. He could have had both of them so easily. He, like, bet the farm on a side B game four against Onan that he just did not need to do. He had stage control. Like, Onan was, I think it was Kalos or something. It was a, it was a platform, or it was a stage with a platform on the side. It might have been town. But uh, he had a, like, Onan had no resources. He had, like, maybe one or two blocks, but no iron. It was, they were both at, like, I think, like, 140 around there. And Mutes just went for a side B. He went for a Peach Bomber. And he gave up stage control, he let Onan mine, and then Onan ended up winning the game, and the set is just so close, and he just, he bet the farm, he didn't hit it, but hey, if you're gonna throw out the Hail Mary, sometimes it doesn't hit, you gotta reap the, reap the consequences, it would be not the right phrase, but it's the one we're sticking to, and then it's set against Akala, Akala just had like, a crazy comeback game three, it was like, unreal, it was like, that. <laughs> it was crazy, and it just, he just lost, and it's really unfortunate. He definitely could have had both those sets. I could have 100%. In, like, not even a super different universe. In, like, a very small micro-universe, there's a world where Mutes won this entire tournament. And I think it's not long before he wins, like, or he actually does win the big one, because he's been playing so well recently. When he is on point, he looks unreal. Mutes is so, so good at this game. He's he's actually just such a good player. And also, he is now a free agent, so if you were a massive TO or massive org watching this video, go sponsor Mutes, because he's like a top 10 player to watch. He is so, so sick. And also, he has... Look at these... Sunglasses are so cool. Um, <laughs> Tweak as well, staying consistent, not only getting 7th, but then again, he lost to Riddles and Akala, so <laughs> what can you do? What can you do, honestly? Uh, Cosmos, you already talked about, tough to be consistent. Akala, uh, I thought Ned would beat Akala, but then Mudes did, but then he went through the trenches and losers. I guess we just get to top 8 right now. He went through the trenches, beating Jen, almost got reversed through out there, but he did stop it. Then he beat Tweak 3-2, Zamba 3-2, kind of bopped Riddles, Mudes in such a close set, and then destroyed Odin. Uh, but I think we all expected that, especially after the Ludwig event. It was like, it was not close. Onan tried the secondaries. They didn't work out, unfortunately. I don't know what the suggestion is there. Because it's like, Onan clearly isn't amazing at the Steve uh, the Steve matchup. But Akula is insane at the Ditto. Like, like it's crazy. So, I, I honestly don't know what the advice is. Honestly, the counter picks were looking better than most. Just like, maybe super train like the Joker or the Shulk. Or Robin, but, like, I would never recommend someone to super train Robin just because it is fairly limiting and you can only use in that one matchup then. But if you have a really good Joker, maybe you can do it other times. But, yeah, it was tough. Not not a great set to look at. And also, uh, we're not going to be... Do we usually do, like, a final, like, one set grand finals. We're not going to be doing that here just because it's, like, Twitch and it's, like, it's all weird. And then also, I don't want to watch that last game because Onan just ended up giving up. Respectfully, by the way. It wasn't like he was, like, raging BM. He just, like, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, which is fair enough. Uh, even though, as well, Steve got top two in this bracket, I think people look really good against the matchup. Like, Mutes could have won all of his sets against the Steve players. Zomba could have won all of his sets against the Steve players. Akula definitely could have lost a tweak. Riddle's Akula was a bit tough, but also Shodos or, like, FGC Steve seems really, really hard. So I don't know what Riddle's solution is there, but I'm, I'm sure he'll come up with that. He always does. But, he like, he was close at Ludwig, so just, like, Akula was playing fairly well once he got into losers this tournament. And then, also... Aqua's in Panda Cup, which I'm so happy with, because it feels like we don't have a ton of international representation at Panda Cup. Like, it's basically all North America, and I noticed how he said North America, not NA, even though they mean the same thing, just because, again, Mexico is its own region in Smash, because Mexico is so incredibly strong. And then maybe, spoilers, 
Maybe Canada should be too. We'll get we'll get to that in another video. But Canada's kind of crazy now. But uh, anyway, kind of our first one. I think maybe we have gluttony, maybe, but I'm not sure. And then also the uh, the online Panic Club qualifiers have been going on now. So I don't even know who's in there now. We'll do a recap video on that eventually. But the Panic Club's cool now. Or uh, cool now. It's crazy now that Aqua's in it. It's like getting so insane, which is super super sick. Hopefully we can see more international travel. That'd be like my only quarrel with it. But also it's like incredibly tough to do. So we'll see. But yeah, super sick that Aqua's in it. And also, again, super tragic that Zomba is not. Zomba missed it by one spot. Again, I think that's like five times now that he's missed a qualifier by one single spot. And I just can't help but feel bad for him. It's It sucks. He's so close. But he's going to get it. I know he's going to get it. And once he's in there, he's going to farm because he always does well at Invitational. Zomba at Invitationals is crazy for some reason. And I think he's, he's going to get it. Believe me, it's going to happen. Zamba, it's not copium. It's like he's destined. At this point, it's like he's going to make it on the last one. It just has to. I don't understand. Bad luck, honestly. Because every single time is off by one. But enough of that off point. Also, shout out to Ned and Apollo Kage. I think Apollo, I guess we'll just get into this right now. I think Apollo Kage is my player of the. Uh, the player of the tournament is between Apollo Kage, Jen, or Chunky Kong. And I'm more hesitant to give it to Apollo Kage and Chunky Chong. Even though Chunky Kong. Had a really impressive run. He got two insane wins. He did do this before at SmashCon. We know he can do this, and he's insane. And since that is more recent, I'm not going to give it to him. Apollo Kage, honestly, I, did, I thought Apollo Kage had made a top eight before this just because I have him so high up in my mind. Like, I have him, like, top 40, 30 in the world. He is absolutely unreal. Apollo Kage is so good. 100% the best snake right now, which is not easy to say because there's a ton of amazing snake players. And then... Jen as well. Jen is like old Smash, it feels like, which feels weird to say because it's like three years ago, but whatever. It's like at the start of the game, he was really, really strong, and then he took like a little bit of a break, a little bit of a dive. I think it was a break, but then he came back this tournament incredibly strong, beating Peebnut, Javi, and our Fatality, and I'm going to give it to Jen, losing to Aklo Riddles as well. Like, incredible losses, honestly. Both are top 10 for sure. One of them is top like two at least, or top three at least, and yeah. Overall, this tournament was insane. Sets to watch. Literally, I know I say this a lot when I have like a favorite player in the tournament. Please watch every Mute set. Not even any. Watch them all. They're all really good. Mute played so well for me. So sick to watch. He always is. But when he's playing good, mwah, it's so it's so good. <laughs> uh, Jen Akla was really good. Akla Tweak was amazing. Akla Zomba was really good. Zomba's sets versus all the Steve's were really good. Uh, even though he didn't win most of them, he just like he played it very well, and so did the Steve players for the most part. Riddle's Tweak was funny, Game 2 especially. Akala Mudes, already talked about that, but that one gets a special mention because that set was crazy. That set was obscene. Uh, Apollo Kage and Athma was really enjoyable. Tweak Jackal was like a regional dispute, but hey, those are always kind of fun. And then one more from Top A. One more, one more, one more. Riddle's Apollo Kage. I just like watching Snake. <laughs> Maybe you watch Ned Apollo. If you like watching Ned Apollo Kage, then if you're a Snake lover like me, because he won that set. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I There's like a ton of people I didn't cover a ton in this tournament because it was like super stacked. There's a billion, well, roughly a billion people that entered that are insane. So if I miss your favorite top player, let me know down below. I'll tell you how I think they did, what they could. I don't know if they overperformed, underperformed, uh, ex ex future expectations kind of started there. But you get a point. Oh my god. You get the point. That sentence didn't count. Everyone rewind or just ignore the last 10 seconds. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Support has been the world to me lately. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.